Hey guys, and welcome back to more Wild Arms. I am your host, Rabbit, and in our previous episode together, we finally finished up the stupid ass statue area that took me forever to figure out. It was admittedly by my own mistake, but we were able to solve it and we acquired. La, la 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 the arms which is really weird but it's one of Malduk's three holy effects or one of the holy keys so we will go ahead and arrange this there it is and yeah that was the blue section so now we are going to I guess just go ahead and do the orange one since it's already set to that so Malduk area 41 mine area selected let's go ahead and activate the transport so yeah, I did actually take a little bit of a break as I announced at the end of the last episode because I was feeling a little bit anxious. And then on top of that, I got a little bit of sour news, which I'll tell you in just a second. But this monument says, if the spirit of the machine is good, then the machine will glow faintly blue. It will leave the righteous. If the spirit of the machine is evil, then the machine will glow bright red. It will lead the evil. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means, but let's read this one too. The circle still binds the thousand-year-old power of Sado. The awakening of the golem will occur with the arrival of the Maya songs. All right, so again, that's just a pro tip that we'll need to use Jack's guitar of Maya in order to summon the other side boss, which is Sado, another golem. So anyway, uh, let's just start off this direction and see where this takes us. This place is kind of eerie, but I like the way this water looks. Okay. Hmm. Let's try going left this time. I don't know, guys. At this point, though, I'm just not wanting to plan anything or worry too much because, yeah, the events of the last episode should show you. <laughs> Me trying to plan anything out usually isn't going to work, so. Anyway, we'll just do randomizer because why the hell not? But anyway, as I was starting to say, so I got a bit of bad news. My husband's friends are just randomly coming this weekend, which really drives me nuts. And I'm sure some of you are like, really, Rabbit? That's the bad news. But you got to understand, I work 40 hours a week, and my job's really stressful. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat was just giving out there. My job's really stressful, and I just feel like I have so much stuff always going on. I hate it when people just invite themselves over randomly and I don't know how long they'll be staying so it just I don't know <sighs> it just ruins it for me honestly because I don't get that much time to myself so what the fuck is this is this maybe that little eye machine thing it was talking about okay well whatever let's try going here but anyway he told me that one of his friends oh it looks like this is the fight with Sado. Oh, shit. Of course, a boss fight. <laughs> Scaring the shit out of me. Okay, I really like Randomizer. I think it's a pretty good spell. It seems like when Cecilia's luck is up, it's a lot more effective to use, which I guess that's the name of the game, right? And let me go ahead. We've got a bajillion of these magic carrots just from me doing that stupid... Alright, there we go. Uh, that stupid ancient arena shit. Okay, so let's go ahead. Without further ado, play our guitar and get the final golem, Sado. And Sado is supposedly not as tough as Lucifer, so this fight should, I mean, I would imagine be even easier. And I probably should eventually hit up my bullet clips. Alright, so let's trump card and... Yeah, let's go ahead and slow down. So anyway, I'm just a little bit frustrated because I feel as though I work really hard and I don't get that much time to myself as things stand right now. So it's very aggravating to find out that unexpectedly my only weekend really to have off in the last, I'd say, three weeks. I haven't had a weekend off and I really don't even get this one off. I have to work on... Saturday for only a couple hours, so it's not the end of the world, but it's still just like, uh, I don't know. It's probably just me also being antisocial and picky about the kinds of people I like, but you know, it is what it is. I have certain standards, and I know some people have their own and can overlook other 
issues that people may bring to the table, but it's very difficult for me if I see someone is a questionable person or they just, I don't know, they aren't the most honest or kind. It's really difficult for me to want to extend any sort of grace to them. I don't know. I just, I don't like being surrounded by certain kinds of people is probably just the best way to put it. And it's unfortunate because this weekend, apparently, two people are coming. And then I think in two weeks, someone else that I don't really like that much is coming. And then a week after that, another person is coming. And I'm just like, you know, I live here too. You really need to double check with me before you just start inviting people over. It's just really aggravating. And I'll get over it. It's not the end of the world by any means. But did ruin my little break, I have to say. So, Rabbit is not a completely happy camper right now. But it'll be fine. I think I'll just maybe try to work overtime or something to keep myself occupied. Yeah, so the next few days, actually it would be nice if I was put out of town. But I mean, that won't delay me from having to interact with them at all because obviously, even if I get a chance to miss the assholes who are coming this upcoming weekend, I'm going to have to deal with them. The person coming two weeks and then the third week from there. So, I don't know. It is what it is. I'll just have to deal with it. But let's try randomizer. Why not? Rudy is, like, not getting hurt by this at all. So even if it's risky business for Jack and Cecilia, Rudy should carry us to victory. But yeah, how are you guys doing? Hopefully the last couple days haven't been too rough for any of you. Aside from work, nothing really special has happened with me. I've just been a little bit tired. Just, you guys know, the usual. Oh, I'm almost out of bullets for Phaser, so I will for sure. Me too. Get my shit taken care of. Uh, I'll have Cecilia heal us. Yeah. And I might eventually just switch back to Raptina. Uh, as much as I like Dan Dyram, and I think he's been an okay guardian to have equipped to her, I wonder if the powerful heal of Raptina will prove to be more useful. Alright, that's right. Keep focusing, Rudy, who's not feeling anything that you're dishing out to him. All right, so we'll do another Fury shot with, let's go ahead and just do Wild Bunch. <laughs> the most OP description ever. Okay, and then we'll dual cast, I don't know. I guess Armor Down and Randomizer, why not? We can live life on the edge and fucking Sado looks crazy. Almost like a creepier version of Leviathan. Oh, okay, Sado's gone. <laughs> Not a big deal at all. Okay. But the good news is, by defeating Sado, similarly to how Lucifer granted us the Jade Wilder, which was Jack's most powerful jacket, we now have the Braver Vest, which is Rudy's most powerful jacket. So that's really cool. So let me go ahead and put this on Rudy. Yeah, so I'm not really quite sure why those other jackets were just sitting in those chests in the, what was the area, the statue area, because you find two of them, Rudy and Jax, here in Malduk, so it's, all, I don't know, it's almost a weird thing for them to put there, because it, it doesn't really seem like a good reward if you get something significantly better just from summoning these bosses, but I guess, you know, at the end of the day, they shouldn't have been as easy as they have been for me, so, wait. We're, this is where we started, isn't it? Uh, circle binds, blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is where we started. All right, so instead, let's go, uh, I don't know. I guess we can, because we took the left path the last time. I think we'll be good to just go to the right-hand side this time. If not, I'll go back, because there was a left part above. Oh, God, I don't want to be off to this start already. Okay, so, shit. Um, I don't know. Which way should we go, guys? Let's try going this way. Oh, man. Always lulls to be had. Dungeon crawling with me. 
let us continue. All right, I don't remember which way we were going. So let's see. Oh, it looks like there's a path over there. Ooh, what the hell is this? The eye acquired. That almost seems too easy. I wonder if we should go and check and see. I don't know if that little eye machine thingy that was there. I'm thinking maybe that first monument that was talking about something glowing blue or... Whoa, that was weird. I guess we got caught right before entering this room. Because, yeah, I bet there are fake eyes here or something. So let's go back to that room and just check it out if I can remember where the hell... Because that, doesn't that seem almost too easy to you guys? Like, especially after the shit we went through in the statue area. It shouldn't be that fast. Maybe I'm just being paranoid and skeptical now. It's probably fine, but... I don't know. I'm wary of trusting this game after what it just put me through. Okay. Oh! So, that little eye switch machine is glowing blue, so I guess we're okay. That's the eye. And I bet the other shit in those chests were bullshit. Or, it was probably just one thing, but it was probably a bullshit eye. Okay, well that was surprisingly easy. So, we might have just been lucky. I don't know, or the game feels sorry for me after what I just endured. Either way, we're gonna take it and run with it. Oh, I guess let me show you guys what it looks like. So there's the eye. And it actually, they have icons. So you can see a little silhouette of an arm within the blue circle and similarly there's a red eye or an eye I guess in the red circle so I'm gonna save again you guys know how I do I'm sorry you're just gonna have to watch me do it we're early again in this episode those fights with the golems didn't take as much time as I was hoping they would and if the game continues to advance the way it's going we're gonna beat this in under 40 hours. We'll probably be at like 39-ish. All right, Malduk area 31, the residential area selected. Do you want to activate the transport? Of course we do. So one last place to go. All right. So let's read this monument as soon as we gain control. And I guess let's be Cecilia. Oops. This town is an illusion. Everything is a lie. Oh, that's not helpful at all. At all. The town is an illusion. What? Huh. Well, I wonder if we can find anything? Or maybe it legitimately is just an illusion and there's not really... Sounds are coming from the house. Listen in, yes. Hid it in the barrel. What? Sounds are coming... Really, you were just walking and... Whoa! This place is fucking creepy. I don't know about you guys. Nosferatu? Okay, game. What the fuck? Let's try to steal... <clears throat> oh my goodness. Let's see. But yeah, I can't believe that we're gonna wrap this up in under... Dangerous Object 666. What? <gasps> Oh my god. No way. Let's not fuck around with this thing. Holy shit. Guys, what? No way. This is not okay. We cannot die. This is this is terrible. Kill him, Rudy. Oh my god. What the fuck, guys? Okay. We're not messing around with the monsters here. Great, a magic carrot. Yeah. Wait, we just listened in. Holy fuck balls. What the fuck? Oops, what am I doing? Cecilia, there you are. Okay. That rocked my world. Not again. We're not doing this. Southwest of the town, there is a what? There's a what? And there's like nothing to this town, and I don't know what's in the barrel. You know what, maybe I need to use Rudy. Nothing? We'll see if we can find anything while we're here. 
Although, we might have to end the episode here in just a bit. Well, we fucked Nosferatu up before he had a chance to fuck us up. And I'd like it to remain that way, if at all possible. This place is fucking creepy. But I don't know what I'm looking for. I, well, I guess the arm, the eye, and then wings? I don't know what that beeping means. Does it mean we're getting close or we're like nowhere near it? What does that mean? Humpty and Dumpty. <laughs> I have no words. No words. All right. Are they like spoons or rabbits or what the fuck? Hopefully they have some good shit on them. That would be awesome. That's right. Dodgy oh shit. They're kind of cute. I really like that design. Soul Guard. Well, Cecilia, that seems like a bit of a waste. Wait a minute. Oh, fuck you. Let's do that. I'll see if I can trickster and maybe we can high prison them. Oh, or just one. Because if at all possible, I'd like to see what we can get these things to drop. Couldn't steal. What the fuck? Oh, no. Might need to be careful with these guys. Oh, just kidding. No worries. All right, prison him, prison him. Yeah! Okay. I may just chill, Mystic, and where's my bone? There you are. We'll see what we can get this thing to drop. I suppose I could have had Jack try to steal from the black one, but whatever. All right. Always makes me happy when we succeed with this. Okay, you can stop doing that. All right, so let's try again. I guess, let's see if we can steal. And then I'll attempt to high prison him once more. And then we're gonna bone this thing to death. Couldn't steal. No, you murdered it, Jack. Why? Oh, whatever. Oh, God, a magic carrot. Okay. Well, anyway, we're up on time, guys, so. Okay, still nothing. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and see what this has to say, and then we'll end. There isn't any treasure here. Oh yeah? What about this chest? Okay, no, there's not. So thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Rabbit, and when we come back together, we will continue making our way through the, I guess, ghost residential area of Malduk. I'm not sure what the fuck this is supposed to represent, but it is allegedly an illusion. So when we come back together, maybe we'll find somebody or figure out exactly what it is that we're doing here, or maybe we'll just find the wings. I don't know, but stay tuned and you will find out on the next episode. So I'll see you guys in just a sec.